<laughs> Welcome to the playthrough where you can't see anyone's face. <laughs> They're all the way up there. Um, I look like a superhero. Adam is a superhero. My fucking chest. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, well, welcome to something brand new, everybody. Um, this kind of be a, kind of a different direction for the channel. Well, not really a different direction for the channel, but something the three of us haven't really done together. It's a murder mystery game. And one of my favorite murder mystery games, actually. Uh, we were just talking about games to play next, and uh, these guys seem pretty interested in this. So, it's Duncan Rumpa. Uh, we're going to be playing the first game, although this copy that I have contains both games in the series. The first one, uh, Trigger Happy Havoc, which is what we're going to be starting with. And, uh, yeah, we're going to give this sucker a shot. And as Adam said, it's anime the game, pretty much. <coughs> Looks very anime. It is, yeah. So, uh, oh yeah. Should we make it even more anime? No. <laughs> but here's the thing. If we pick Japanese, only the voices will be Japanese. Oh, so like the we can read the text. Ah. So should we do that? Yes. yes. We make it so anime. It's like that scene in the Five Nights at Freddy's game we played a while ago where there's a random anime scene. Oh, yeah. The like samurai partway scene. through. Yeah. Remember that? The samurai. It made like no sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like at the end, it's like, yeah, freaking fox guy. So there he is. That's the teddy bear I was talking to you guys about. His name is Monokuma, and this first scene makes absolutely no sense at first. Um, but it only makes sense at the very end of the game. Right. Yep. So, we're gonna guess what the heck's going on here. Sorry. So there's a guy... It's like Wario when he falls off something in Mario Party. Oh, here he goes. Blast off. So yeah, first time around, I had no clue what the hell was going on at this point, but... Uh, it took me six chapters of the game to understand what the hell's actually going on here. Oh. Um, so, if we make it that far, we'll know what's going on. And he's dead. Cool. He's become a uh, Skeletor. That's his origins. <laughs> I'll I'll slam you to the ground, He-Man! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you should give a Skeletor voice to one of the characters. In this. <laughs> or you know what else we could do? Is make Monokuma like your Kermit voice? Remember that voice you used for Flowey in yeah. Undertale? But uh, yeah, I guess we're starting. Uh, this is the main character narrating here. Um, should question I just... mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, I, I guess should I just do the main character narration? Sure, sure. I guess. We could each like do different characters, <laughs> I guess. But uh, the massive high school towers over all of our... Mess up the first line in the game. Mm -hmm. Over all other buildings in this bustling urban area. Okay, push X then. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. It's like in the old days when it's like they thought the earth was in the center of the universe. Remember that? Right. Like Hope's Peak Academy, which is where we're going to go. School. Yeah. It brings then top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. It's going to be like they have that, what do you say, privilege test or whatever they say nowadays. Uh, privilege yeah. test. If you come here and match graduate, you must apply. It's like a, an identity politics thing, basically. Right. And with hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It's built to raise hope in the nation's future, so hope is going to be a pretty pivotal theme to this game, and by extension, the uh, series overall. But there are two things you need to attend this school. One, you already have to be attending high school, that's easy. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. So you have to have some kind of talent, basically. If you're just an ordinary person, you can't get in. Uh, standing at the gate of this ultimate school is filled with ultimate students, yep. Yeah. And here we are. It was me. So that's our character right there at the start. What's he good at? His name is Makoto Neegi. And so yeah, you must, you're probably under the assumption that since it's like an ultimate stool or whatever, that we have some kind of ultimate ability as well. It's really great. <laughs> Say that. His what? He's really great at jacking off. Oh, <laughs> that's his talent. That's his talent. The, that's ul his ultimate, the, the ultimate wanker. The ultimate wanker. <laughs> if this was the uh, the British version of the game, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't have much going for me when it comes to great special abilities and personality, but he has a wicked left hand. Yes. Hobbies and stuff I like to do. It's not like I'm psychic or mutant or whatever. Like if you asked me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, it'd be just whatever's popular at that particular moment. So he's like. Uh, that fan base that always goes and moves on to the next popular thing. The bandwagoners? The bandwagon, yeah. It's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. If you have any kind of strong points, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. Okay. Well, that's something. 
I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Cafe. Still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. I've got, it's got this overwhelming presence like it's going to swallow me whole. <coughs> but it's no wonder I'd feel that way. What you have to understand is... Let me tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Ooh. Oh, well. Oh. He's preparing his talent already. Searching Pornhub. Oh, no. Oh. Only the students who are truly elite in their field. It's probably talking their threads online indicate to talk about the school's attendees. By the way, I'll point this out. Pressing L1 lets you toggle the text on and off. So if you want to see like what's behind the text box, you can do that. Uh, also, let's talk about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high school. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. So yeah, everyone we're going to meet has some kind of ultimate talent, basically. Mm -hmm. A high schooler who's the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Also turn down the audio slightly here. There's also the ultimate baseball star. This guy looks crazy. Cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. <laughs> okay, so we'll be meeting this character as well. Is the ultimate fashionista. I wonder if there's an ultimate porn star. <laughs> <laughs> We're still on that topic, yeah. Pretty much. Even off the audio here a little bit. She's on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be in. It actually shows her name there, Junko Inoshima. But we'll uh, figure that out, of course, later on, too. They mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. <laughs> where they put they put this guy in high school. He's the uh, ultimate de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Yep, and Gangs. that's the skill that Gangs they want in the high school. The guy. That's right. Yeah, looks like a vampire in that fucking photo. He looks like his fangs. Oh yeah. This also a fanfic creator. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> that's the best talent. He's actually a really funny character too. The ultimate pro programmer. The ultimate, ultimate clairvoyant. Programmer. Yep. <clears throat> that's right. So we're gonna meet all these characters. I feel like a tame little house cat wandering to a pride of lions. There's something I couldn't stop thinking about. There are a few students I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But what about those other new students who didn't see the pop up anywhere? He's the ultimate ordinary person. Ultimate average. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. The most average. The most the average. World. I've got the most neutral scores on anything. Yes. I'm the ultimate average person. That would be really <laughs> funny. Oh, well, actually, now it explains it. Uh, the acceptance letter, why they chose him. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. Oh! <laughs> yeah. As a result, you've been selected, and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. So that's what our talent is. We're just lucky We're just because lucky. we got selected to go in. One lottery. Yeah, I got invited by pure luck. Pure luck. Pure luck. <laughs> yeah. I, honestly, I probably would have been better off declining the offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I couldn't say no. Yep. I mean, why not, I guess. Standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. So we're gonna jump on into this. Uh, there's a meeting at the main hall at 8 a.m., okay. It's still in for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Let's go inside. I gathered my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. <laughs> hey, what? You need a pants? Trip yeah. pants myself. <laughs> Great start. Yeah, he's like that uh, meme who's like, what was his name? Bad Luck Brian or whatever? Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, it's 7 10, so we're a little early. <coughs> Holy shit, we're early. Jesus. It's like almost an hour early. Time to go sit somewhere and watch YouTube videos. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Come on. That's what an ordinary man would do. Yeah. Yes. It's like we're watching this video. No, I kind of want to see like an edit of that, where it's like a, a section or whatever, where you see this video inside of this video inside of this oh video. God, like if I hold up my phone like this, yeah. and you see, oh, that's not gonna work. If you see the video currently on this thing, and then inside of itself, I'll probably be too lazy to edit that. But uh, we'll see. Uh, a let's watch of a let's, a let's watch of a. We should a actually do that. A let's watch of a what let's if we watch. go back and watch one of our old let's watches? <laughs> and do a let's watch of a let's watch. I like how we're talking about this and not the game. Yeah. Oh, well, this is just yeah. when things are starting to get uh, into the action here. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Okay, that, now Some stuff is drugs. happening. What the... You've the instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped and twisted. It's like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And then the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. Roofies. The what? Roofies. What's that? Yeah, roofies. Roofies. You don't know what roofies I've are. never heard that. What? Is it a druggy thing? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. I'm sure the people in the comments will know. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope Speak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. 
It was so good I, I could experience ultimate despair. So yeah, hope and despair are such big themes in this. As you can see, the prologue is called Welcome to Despair. Welcome to Despair High School. Is that what yeah. the actual... Uh, yeah, I'll save. Yeah. And no, I don't feel save like two. Empty I don't feel like it. Fuck you. All right, here we go. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we passed He's jerking out. off again. It's, it's like that one Joel thing. It's like, my son's been jacking off in his classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of bathroom. <laughs> I built him a shed. I built him a shed. <laughs> what? Where am I? Head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. Is well, it's something else. hard. I don't know, man. It's normal for me to uh, zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... Well, <laughs> so it took a sleep, while. <laughs> it took a while for you to get it. For you to get it, yeah. <laughs> this isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? What the heck is up with this game? It's like that one uh, episode of uh, Game Grumps oh, yeah. where they impersonate like this ang uh, angry video game nerd knockoff. <laughs> what the oh, heck is up with this game? This poopy, Bumbles. poopy butt thing. <laughs> yeah. It's when they're playing that shitty, that, like, shitty Disney Mickey Mouse thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, wow. Well, I, I can show off how this works. Uh, this is basically the tutorial. <laughs> Use the shoulder buttons to look left and right. Right. If we uh, pass off the controller, then I'll explain how this works. Um, Triangle lets you see objects of interest. So right now I can look at the clock, for example. If I go here. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it's eight. Oh, it's eight o'clock now. I can't see shit. There's so much glare. Yeah. yeah. Has it really been almost an hour? Okay. You can also yeah. look at the camera. Roofies, my boy. Yeah. Is that a surveillance camera? Yes. Yeah. It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep the weirdos from just wandering in. Okay. Uh, there's also this. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. Those are some fucking big ass bolts. They are, yeah. And they're all different sizes. What the hell? That is weird, weird, yeah. I heard a knock on it. It's like bang, bang. Did I ever show you that video that we saw in <laughs> physics bang, class? Bang. Julius Sumner Miller, where he gets like a metal rod. He's like bang, bang, yes. bang. Yeah. To like try to get magnetism bang, to work. Bang, I remember bang. you editing it. And it I, I did, yeah. Bang, <laughs> I did. Bang, bang. bang. I called that video just bang. Yeah. It's bang, still on my channel bang, somewhere. Bang, bang. Yeah. Uh, but why are there metal plates on the windows? That is a good question. Uh, let's take a look at this thing. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Someone's uh, playing the bongos. Yeah. What's on the desk? It's like something written in crayon. An orientation guide. It's like, wasn't there a thing for the GameCube? It's like an actual bongo thing you used to Was control? Was that for DK? Donkey Kong bongo beat or yes. something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the next semester is about to start. Starting today, this will be your entire world. It's apparently uh, drawn in like Crayola crayon. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? I don't know. See, what pranked. might have happened is I got myself wound up, I passed out in the main hall. Did someone carry me here? It's just a prank, bro. Yeah, that's how it's revealed. It's just a prank. That's true, it must mean the classroom is inside Hope's Peak. And if that's true, this raises more questions. It's all really strange. Those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. <coughs> we probably head back to the main hall. It's past the meeting time, yeah. We gotta see if we can uh, meet the other students, so I guess we'll head on there. Um, I could also look at. Oh, wait, what's that's on the television screen? screen. That's oh, that's just the letters. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I've seen this already. I think there's a fast forward button, but I forget what it is. But, uh, television. Let's look at this. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I suppose it's not weird they have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Okay. Well, let's uh, explore and find out. Turn into kind of the Bilko weird. experiment. The what experiment? The Bilko experiment. Oh, didn't you mention that once? I don't remember. Isn't it where they like? What, how did it work again? It's like they lock people into something and like. I can't remember. I just watched a video on it a couple days ago. It was like it's an office building okay. in Colombia, and they lock all of the American workers inside, and it turns into a battle royale. Oh, well, that is very similar to this concept, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, as you can see, it is 3D, so you can walk around like this. Whoa. Uh, some of it's 2D, some of it's 3D, so... Despair. Oh, Despair Hotel. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we gotta go to the main hall, though. That's not where we wanna go yet. Uh, the main hall, I think, is through a door over here. Let me check. Let's see, it should be through this one. Yeah, there's some signs in this ship. Yeah, there is a map, which you can look at, too. I should, <coughs> should point that out. By the time we go back to the main hall, everyone else is already there. So this is the point you get to meet everybody. So, I want you guys to kind of predict what's going on here. Who are these characters? Like, what are their ultimate talents? What do you think? 
Any predictions so far? Well, we know that guy was the biker gang leader. Mm-hmm. That guy over there. And he, uh... He's great at jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Tell the arm. Him <laughs> yeah. Tell me that. Are you just looking back and forth? Uh, yes, this is kind of automatic. Right. Here. Um, that guy in the back with the, fr- the the wild hair. The afro, yeah. Is ultimate weed smoker. Okay. Uh, the one on the back beside the weed smoker. <laughs> Big oh. fat guy. Oh, <laughs> that guy, yeah. He's he's an ultimate eater. Okay, mm, like yes. food critic maybe, yeah. yeah. Ultimate eater. Good prediction. Good competition eater. Okay. Uh, what about uh, the uh, the guy in the front there with the glasses? What is he going to do? Ultimate douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, maybe you're right there. Uh, the guy with the... Oh, red hair is the baseball guy we saw before. Uh, what about the girl beside the the dude there? She has kind of like a tie on. Can you see that? It's right. kind of far in the back. You mean the one in the maid's outfit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every single prediction. No. <laughs> He's not even gonna Always say it. No. Porn star or something. No, something worse. Okay. Something oh bad. no. Well, then we'll just find out the talents <laughs> for ourselves. So, so you are all outfit. <laughs> they supposed to be the first day of class. There's 15 of us. Standing before us were the ultimate students. All right. Yeah, they were taking their faces in one at a time. So we'd feel some kind of aura coming from each of them. Okay. So time to meet everyone individually. Oh, fucking shit. Uh, Makoto Nagi's our name. Yep. Huh? So there's this guy. Weed smoker. Uh, yeah. Who should vo- voice this guy? Um, any, any preferences? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's a shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, you tell. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Is she like Alice from Alice in Wonderland with that one? Is she mm-hmm. gay? Mm-hmm. This guy is like, uh. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt. This is a strange situation indeed. Uh, I have oh, no, no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> so there's this guy. This guy should be Skeletor, I feel. Could, could There's you do that s- moment. There's nothing, something else we, we must address. address. <laughs> yep, there you go. Your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you are aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you and must you must be slammed to the ground for your punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. And then there's this character. Uh, What's your problem? <laughs> you, it's not you like voice he you. wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. Yeah, you're voicing this. Uh, this one seems more energetic here. I don't know. <laughs> she's, she's fat, Albert. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. This is why I hope we all go around and confuse ourselves. Okay. Hell, now's no time for the freaking hell? introductions. <laughs> yeah, do that. Do that, actually. The hell? Now's no time for freaking introductions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, her voice is actually kind of normal. Should I give her a silly voice? Though? Yeah. Sure. I don't know what voice I think we should give her, though. Any, uh, like, she's just kind of like a vampire lady. Or a robot. Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? You should occasionally make her glitch out. Uh, yeah, yeah, like stutter on a certain word. <laughs> and uh, Amazon Alexa. She's Alexa. That's it, yeah. yeah. So then there's this. Like, Any ideas for this one? We gotta throw a Kermit in somewhere, but I think that should be Monokuma. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll just, we'll figure this one out later. That's a good point. She's kind of normal, too. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? <laughs> I'm still totally lost, but I think it's just uh, best to focus on getting to know each other. Okay. This is as good a chance I'm going to get. I already looked everyone up on the Hopespe Academy thread online, but I don't know everyone. Yeah, okay, we're going to meet them all. Um, so we'll start with these five people, but I think we might do that next time. Uh, get the introductions going, so okay. next time on Danger Road, let's trigger her. Yeah, slam you to the ground, he man! Well, he is one of them. Skeletor is right there, so... <laughs> we'll see. 